And I knew that was going to happen, but someone in the crowd is like, that's the first time I've ever seen, you know, Falcons Nair 1 into knee or something like that. It's crazy. Yeah, man, I'm one of those guys who doesn't watch anime. Yeah, uh, yeah fair enough. Yeah, me, yeah, me too, man. They don't watch Smash. We don't watch anime, but, you know, fair we enough. pop off at their costumes, even if it's like, man, it's like the 50th Akashi yeah, costume right. I've seen all right. weekend. Right. Oh, you don't know? They have 80,000 followers on Instagram. Everyone's seen that costume since last year or whatever, you know. That's actually out of date, but we don't know what we're talking about in terms of anime, but we're going to talk about Smash Bros. right now. Kamikaze off to a very strong lead here. Yoshi threatening at the ledge, too. Keep trying to hold down center stage. Look at the reverse Nair. Did you see that? That's got to lead into some kind of crazy, tricky stuff. That was a really interesting follow-up. I like that, though. Yeah, but these guys are going to be extra creative, I'm assuming, because Kamikaze, you don't just play Yoshi in Smash, right? I feel like right. everyone who plays Yoshi is pretty good, or they're just awful, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> there's, there's no middle ground with this character. You're actually right, though. And the, and the thing is, if you make it, look at that reverse Nair. I love that. That's a tricky movement right there from Yoshi. You get, like you said, Max, getting creative with the character. I love it. We're going to see some projectile warfare for sure in this matchup, too, between Short Hop, uh, Lemons from Mega Man, but also the up B from Yoshi for the chase here. I like how he jabbed and then he covered the roll away option. Very good movement there from Kamikaze. Very nice. Old landing back air. going to shake some of that pressure off. Oh, he threw it down. That, that metal blade just skimmed the nose of Mega Man. That was very, Saving very close. Later, man. That's right. Go. Crash Bomber connecting. All the way at the top. Peebna getting aggressive with Rush towards the top of the stage. Cannot find it, though. Looking for that back air, one of Mega Man's best KO options by a long shot. Comes out frame four, just knocks you out super early. There you go now. You know, if you don't get the third hit out on your way down, right. that's, that's when it gets tragic. Absolutely. Now see Peep hold down center stage again. The lemon work going for sure. That just short hopping one. I like that because he was throwing three in a row back to back to back very consecutively. Now he's just throwing one. Trying to fluster uh, Kamikaze a little bit into doing something foolish, but he's having none of it. Peep at the ledge again. What's the option going to be? Kamikaze's looking for that forward air bunch, but that back air, man, the angle on it is gnarly. Plus the knockback sent you flying, dude. We're going to attach the crash bomb to Yoshi. Maybe just lock him down in his shield. That's also a really good setup for Mega Man, right? You put the crash bomber on them, make them block, and then you run up at the last second. Strap. Back throw them away. Oh, but yeah, that back air going to come through. All reliable. Definitely a super strong back air. We're seeing Peep not tie up the game in terms of stock. Let's see what he can do with the lead here now that he just bare, just just recently obtained. Go see what Kamikaze has here at the ledge. Looking for the egg set up into the down air. Big damage coming out. Nice call out there by Kamikaze. Okay, the lead shield though. Pressure is super good. Peep trying to stay on top of this Yoshi. Trying to get a forward smash too from center stage. Pretty low commitment from that one, but though, so that's okay. And these lemons, too. So dangerous against a character like Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Not someone who thrives against donors whatsoever. Right, absolutely. Ooh, See that? That was, that was shield. Yeah, shield. Yeah. Really, really Look, nice. Looking like rest out of shield from Puff. Just jump down. Could you imagine? That's, that's, I think, one of the most underutilized things in Ultimate and, and all the games that aren't melee is jump into special out of shield. Okay. It saves you a lot of frames. You know, 11 to drop your shield, but only 3 to jump out of it. There you go. That's good to know, man. That's really great knowledge. Definitely going to push the meta, I'd imagine, uh, coming up here in the next few months. Really, really good knowledge, man. Yeah, I mean, it's been around since Melee, right? You see Puff do it into Rest all the time. Yep. I want to see Wario using it into Wop. Mega Man doing it into Leap Shield because it kills his ascent. Really clean stuff. Sense of forward air, scooping up at the ledge. Pivna going up a stock now. Let's see how Kamikaze uh, reacts. He's going to get the Crash Bomber on his head, but he transfers it over. That was really nice by Kamikaze, recognizing the situation very well. Here we go. We're seeing same old, same old. Pivna holding it down with some lemons in center stage. Looking for the back air, not enough power yet. Oh, looking for the dunk ski too in the forward air. Either the good hitbox or the bad hitbox definitely would have been a KO uh, for Kamikaze. That close to the blast zone. Plus, Peep is working at 144%. Trying to zone it out, man. Not having, losing, like being behind against Mega Man is the worst, dude. It is just so frustrating to fight against this character. He's so good at zoning, man, as he should be. Very canon canonically accurate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Playing right into that lore, and man, he also just lives forever. Yes. So you've got to hit him yes. with something serious to close out the stock. The like Kamikaze's trying to find any way in. Falling up air, looking for... That looked like it was going to be a back air, perhaps, with the Lemon beating him to the punch. Kamikaze can't really find an opening right now. And Peep not. That means he's doing his job right. That down air actually has, like, no end lag. You can actually... No, yeah. it, it's crazy good pressure, and people fall for it all the time, try to run up and shield grab after. Because, you know, 
naturally you think that's such a powerful move, it must have a ton of end lag, and it just doesn't have any. It's it's a ridiculous pressure tool from above. I think you can true block string into up tilt, which is ridiculous. It's so damage. good, dude. It's so good. That is definitely an underrated tool in Mega Man's kit. Peep not though, Ooh! starting to get in there. Wow, chasing him all the way, reminiscent of that to Buzz match. Peep not why? Rock. You know what I mean? He must have felt extra confident in that because if he had gotten on the bad end of that exchange towards the top there, he would have thrown away his stock lead. And then suddenly, I mean, he's still working with a nice percentage lead, but there's almost no reason to go for that. But had it worked out, it would have been nice. But he still cleaned it up on the other side with the back air, very well played by Peep not. That's my man Peep right there. He's playing really well, especially after. I mean, he did not win the first stock. Kamikaze took the first stock, and he was looking really, really clean and poised there. However, Peepnut, he's a responder, man. That was the only one he dropped. Yeah, fair enough. Like you said, Mega Man, not only is he frustrating, you know, with his uh, flurry of projectiles, especially the lemons are so annoying. Such a good tool for him in his kit. But his natural defense, his natural weight, he just lives forever, dude. Even a hard hitter like Yoshi has a hard time clearing out the stocks. You saw him live the back air. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's over 100% for sure. So Mega Man, just uh, a heavy boy. I have to ask Pete Nut where his tag comes from. It's just so goofy, <laughs> it's you know? A, it's, a tag. It, it's definitely a tag that fits the player really well. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know who this dude is just off of his tag, and it fits his play style. Like, he's, he's like a quirky Mega Man main. You know what I'm saying? Like that, yep, that all lines up. That Name all sounds Peep right. Nut. Peep. Yeah. Peep. I love calling him Peep, dude. It's so funny. <laughs> He loves dude. calling himself that. Yeah, I know, dude. Game, it's the right? best. Nice. Look at that Nair. So active. And he was able to oh. snag the Metal Blade, too. Very nice. I was wondering when Kamikaze was going to swing, too, because he just waited so long out of that entire double jump. But unfortunately, missed his mark. And he did finally throw the forward air out. Kamikaze at the ledge. Now he's going to find his way off. And he fights using the... That was really, really smart. Using the, the double jump in the Nair, fighting his way up the ledge. Very smart. Yeah, Yoshi's jump armor. Such a valuable tool for him. Otherwise, he'd just be so free to hedge guard. Right, yeah. I, dude, absolutely. Here we go. Peep on the hunt now. Look at, look at that. You look for the down air. Not only that, but it has decent shield stun, so you can look for a grab afterwards, too. You're going to scare somebody at this percentage. It's going to be a mix-up between grab or maybe an up tilt, like you said. A lot of different options that Peep has after getting that down air on shield. And Kamikaze looking for these run-up down tilts. Can get a fat tech chase off that into either up smash or just a grab to keep it going. For the scoop of the back air. Kamikaze's done a pretty good job avoiding the back air, actually, though. There are a couple that Peep has thrown out, and he, he hasn't able, been able to find, and a lot of that is because of Kamikaze using Yoshi's movement. Good recognition on the parry that multi-hits were coming out, almost getting a reward for a stock uh, for that, too. The thing with parrying is you have time to identify what move is being thrown out, because you hit it, you get a little freeze frame, you'd be like, okay, that's a back air, I'm yep. going to shield, that, or try to parry Very all three more. hits. Yeah. Daigo Uemahara, you know? Exactly, dude. I'm trying to that's have a Momocon moment 37 here. <laughs> Off stage, Kamikaze going deep. Nice shot by Peep, though, using the stage like an umbrella, kind of just defending himself from uh, the offense from above, from Kamikaze. I like that. The yeah, umbrella. Yeah, umbrella that's Ella. Clean. That's cute. Yeah, I was going to say Dash that. attack? Hey, hey, hey. It can definitely KO when uh, Yoshi's, a, Yoshi's big, too, though. We got to talk about that. It's definitely a heavier character in the cast. These, these characters are both, like, kind of annoying, heavy projectile characters. Did you see him just tank that forward air and the armor reduce the knockback so severely that he barely went anywhere? And trust me, that would have taken care of him any which way. Kamikaze's been so good when the Crash Bomber's been put on him. He's been able to switch it back to Peep and then get some damage out of it. It's very, very smart. It's good. For the Leaf Shield now, throwing it the other way. Good punish. You gotta punish the Leaf Shield on Mega Man. You gotta teach them. It's not okay to do that, man. It's like a, like a puppy, you know, you have to get the old rolled up newspaper. Hey, that's not okay. We're only against Mega Man. Don't do that, pup do, don't do that to puppies, you know what I'm saying? No. But here we go. Peep. Trying to find his foot in the offense. Woo! Dude, there you go, Max. You like that movement there? Yeah, that was, for you. that was clean. That was clean. That was for me, man. Mm -hmm. That was for you. Peep did it for you. In the back air. Oh my goodness! The follow-up off of Rush. Very nice job by Peep. Not. He gets aggressive. Like I love the way he turns up on the Jets sometimes. And it looks like he's working on another two stock here. My man is coming into his own. It just seems like he needs a little bit of time to get going. In the exhibition matches he played last night uh, versus Fatality, he got three stock the first game and then one the next one. So I, I don't know, man. Like, oh, did you see that? Did it connect? He went right through that. I've seen that give actually a bunch of times, like where Yoshi's in the dead spot on his forward smash. Yeah. It's kind of unfortunate. Kind of unfortunate, yeah. All right. And Kamikaze actually building all that lead back into his favor. I mean, not into his favor. But yeah, he's, yeah. He's working he's, on it. It's close. He's working on a thing or two. Good. Would have been clean. Good movement out of there by Peepnut. Not losing his mind. Not losing his stock either. Now we see him at the ledge here for the up air. Smart by Kamikaze just using his air drift to full effect off the stage there. And yeah, he's looking to close the door on this stock. It's not going to be easy though. Mega Man, not a character who has to even go near you. But Yoshi, he's not going to be able to knock you out with projectiles. Mm -hmm. 
A little more of the center stage warfare. Projectiles back and forth. P wants to hold on to the stock, hold on to the rage. Obviously not as good as it was in Smash 4, but it's still very, very, uh, something you have to take in consideration. Still good, man. 10% extra knockback. Nothing to sneeze at when you're at that 150 mark. Shooting the forward smash. That move is ridiculously strong for no reason as well. So if that connected, I wouldn't be surprised to see Yoshi flying across the stage. Either way, the sour spot of forward air actually knocking him out. Now we've got a one-stock match. Already a better showing from Kamikaze in this game, but it's still quite a bit in Keep Nuts' favor. Yep, just gonna intercept that jump out of the corner with back air. If you're not gonna roll, most players will pick jump to escape that situation. One thing I love in Yoshi's kit that Kamikaze's been using pretty well so far is the neutral B in air. Everyone likes to hold shield against Yoshi because some of his strongest options uh, are in the air. So you're, you're conditioned to hold shield and then he just neutral Bs you and then you get this crazy mix up. So Peep doing a good job, you know, not freaking out when, he's, when he gets in the egg though. Yeah, a lot of uh, value to that command grab in the air for Yoshi. Absolutely. Especially with that air mobility, all that stuff. It's crazy. Yep. Very similar to Wario's uh, chomp. <laughs> Yoshi just saying wow over and over. He's like the Owen wow. Wilson of Smash, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Impressed by something going on this. <laughs> wow. I'm I never it. thought of it like that. <laughs> I think that's what he saying. says it all the time, dude. He's just, there's something very impressive going on at all times with Yoshi's. <laughs> I don't know, man. But here we go. Peep not trying to close this one out, looking for a forward smash. Not going to find it. He has to be careful, though, because, I mean, we've seen uh, signs of brilliance. Uh, from Kamikaze, but it's gonna be a forward air to the corner though. Yoshi living 172. See what Kamikaze can do with the second life here. He's gonna start off with an egg lay. Yeah, just not quite enough on that forward air. Of course, one of the most significantly improved moves for Mega Man in this oh. game. Oh, the forward smash up. I like the new animation for it, by the way. Oh yeah, it looks awesome. Okay, here we go. Peep. Metal Blade piercing through things, just like Rob's laser we were talking about before, that not a lot of moves have that effect, right? We go, just zoning it out. No need to rush it here. We are coming around the two-minute mark le left as well. Kamikaze is going to have to make a pretty big play in those two minutes. Not get caught by anything from Peeb. You know, the back air. Break. Back air. Yeah, could be. Back air, forward air at the ledge. All going to be trouble. But oh, oh no knockdown. That could have uh -huh. been huge. And what's he going to do? Up throw? Back throw across the stage. Still not enough. 230 hanging on here. That's a clutch jump out of that situation, by the way, by Peep. He could have got jab blocked and killed for sure, but the forward air now. Kamikaze on the ropes. 250, though. Oh, just a little too short on that air dodge. And Peep not going to walk away with that one. 2-0, but a pretty good fight from Kamikaze. Right. First match, not so much. Second match, definitely. Really well played by Peep, man. He held down center stage super well, using the lemons, mixing up his timing so, so well. Getting aggressive at really weird and interesting times. And I feel like as Mega Man, that's really, really important to do. It's really important to know when to hit the brakes as Mega Man.